Well, that little circle you see in the middle of your screen, that is a brain tumor, an inoperable brain tumor inside a 16-year-old Spokane teenager named Jaden Bauer. The entire time that we're looking at the photo on the screen, uh, we're just hoping like that shouldn't be cancerous. Like we hope to God it's not cancerous. Uh, but it is. Two weeks ago, doctors told Jaden Bear that he has less than a year left of what was supposed to be a long life. An unimaginable situation for such a young man now living with a deadline. But he and his family are fighting and still planning for his future, no matter how short that might be. In an exclusive story you'll only see on 4 News Now, reporter Eleni Dow shares this family's battle with cancer. When you've only got so much life left to live, you want to make the most of it. That's what Jaden and his family are trying to do. Fight this cancer and live his life by checking off items on his bucket list. What would you do if you only had months to live? Jaden Bear has a list. Have a helicopter ride to lunch with friends. Shoot a sniper rifle. A 16-year-old shouldn't have to make a bucket list. That is such a hard request to ask anybody to put together because it usually doesn't mean great terms down the road. Down the road, Jaden won't be here. It's not pessimism, it's reality. Patients with this type of cancer have anywhere from four to nine months. And it goes, when they start to decline, they decline really quick. The Mead High School student started having headaches in late December, and it just got worse. Still trying to process it all a little bit. He won't accept the deadline he was given. That's what they're saying, yeah, but I don't believe that. I believe I can go a lot longer than they say. Right now, his parents aren't accepting it either. His family is trying whatever it takes to beat this cancer. Sending his chart to as many uh, clinical trials across the country too, um, to see who can, who's willing to tackle this. In the meantime, he's going to school and being a regular kid. I'm just trying to keep everything normal to let people know that I'm all right, you know? And while some of his bucket list are lofty goals. Meet Jacksepticeye, he's a YouTuber. Um, and then meet Nick Kroll. Some of it is simple. Well, finish my book. That's something. Uh, that's something I started recently, and it's it's actually like helped, like coping wise, you know, like coming to terms with everything that's going on. In that book, Jaden talks about his family and friends, people near and dear to his heart. His biggest wish is to just have everybody together and everybody happy, and grateful and kind and. I know that sounds so cliche, but if you know him and know his heart, it makes sense. With all of his big heart, he's going to try and fight. Because I know that this is a very difficult thing for family to go through. I know it's very difficult for friends, but if I have a smile on my face through and through, I know that they will too. Now on this bucket list, he wanted to meet YouTube sensation Jack Jacksepticeye. I tweeted about that today, and that YouTuber reached out to me and says he's going to try to make something work. We will, of course, keep you updated on that and Jaden's journey. Now, if you want to help Jaden with his bucket list, this story will be on KXLY.com in about a half an hour. In studio tonight, I'm Eleni Dow for News Now.